Welcome to the fifth and final stage of Desafia Ruta 40. The rally concludes with a spin from Belen to Salta, featuring more riverbeds, sandy terrain and high-speed tracks, before we celebrate the winners of this 11th edition. Today's stage will be anything but a walk in the park with just over 250 kilometers of timed special. The altitude is also going to be a factor with the competitors heading to over three and a half thousand meters above sea level. Toby Price set the fastest time in the bikes, only to drop to fourth place after a speeding penalty, and he will no doubt leave Argentina, ruining what might have been. The Aussie saw his chances of winning the World Rally Raid Championship seriously damaged by a broken shock absorber on stage two, but he has vowed to fight on until Morocco. He said today's stage brought back good memories of Dakar 2016, in which he secured the first of his two titles. Another former Dakar winner, Ricky Brabeck, will also finish the rally with a few regrets. The American found himself on the wrong side of the bonuses and he was never able to make up the gap to the front runners. Nevertheless, he secured a place on the overall podium. Third place Ricky has some busy months ahead. He won't be heading home until after Morocco. Well, Luciano Benavides made the front pages of all the newspapers in Salta this morning and the local hero led the way back to his hometown as he opened the piste. The Husqvarna man was never likely to close the big gap on the overall leader, Tosha Sharena, but he has had an excellent week here in Argentina and he emerges as the new frontrunner in the W2RC. We finished Safia Ruta 40, it was a really nice race. I want to congratulate Tosha, he did a really nice job. He finished first overall, I finished second, but now I'm the leader in the, in the World Championship, so it's, it's really nice. The, the feeling and now I will try to, to enjoy and keep this moment for, for Morocco and try to fight for, for the world title. But what a week it has been for Sharena, who led from start to finish. It's going to be interesting to see where the Honda rider goes from here after he beat some of the best guys in the world. Sharena taking his first overall victory at this level and staking his claim for a spot on the official HRC team. I'm really happy with this race, uh, unbelievable for, for me and the team, for Honda and Monster Energy. Uh, it's my first time here in Argentina, my first time to in, in Ruta 40 and first win, win with Honda. So super, super, very happy and, and let's more. With some last day penalties, Sharada won by over 11 minutes, having picked up nearly 18 in bonuses. Ross Branch and Adrian Van Beveren, the stage winner, round out the top five overall. Benavides leads the W2RC by nine points now from Price before the final round in Morocco. It ain't over yet. We've also had a change of championship leader in Rally 2. Paolo Lucci was on top when we got to Argentina, but following his abandon in midweek, it's Romain Dumontier who's taken control of the class. Dudu recovering from a bad start to finish the rally in third overall. The victory went to Bradley Cox, who thus claimed his first overall crown in the World Championship. The South African hasn't had an easy season, crashing out of the Dakar early, but he sealed a commanding win here by almost 40 minutes. In this rally, I fell in love with it from the start, and uh, yeah, what a beautiful country. Beautiful riding and uh, the organizers did an amazing job and yeah, I'm happy with my week. Every day I was uh, strong and uh, I put my best foot forward and, and the results uh, have shown. So. Finally, Ardit Kurtai took the honors in Rally 3, coming out on top of a superb battle with Ecuador's Mauricio Cueva. The two teammates at x rays experience were separated by 11 minutes in the end. Keep an eye out for both of them in future editions of the Dakar. The South American rumble continued in the quads on the final day, with only a minute and a half separating Manuel Andujar, Marcelo Medeiros and Francisco Moreno. Andujar took the spoils by just under a minute to complete his overall victory. 
the former Dakar winner finishing up with three stage wins to Moreno's two. For me it was a really good race, I enjoyed so much, uh, it was a really tough stages, good riders like uh, Francisco Moreno, here, me, Marcelo, uh, was an amazing race for us. Anduha winning by just over 13 minutes from Moreno, runner-up at the last two Dakars. Medeiros was half an hour back in third, with the rest some way off the pace. Las Vidas Cancia still leads the W2RC, but Gilioli and Varga have closed the gap in Argentina. Anduha now joint fifth with the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge winner, Abdulaziz Akhli. The top three in the cars has remained the same since stage two and there were no surprise twists today. That means that Yazid Al Raji finished up in third overall. The Saudi was actually the slowest of the six cars out there in this final stage, losing around 10 minutes. But he still picked up 32 points in the W2RC, extending his lead over the absent Sebastian Loeb. Second place overall was a big result for Juan Cruz Jacopini. The Argentine said he wasn't expecting to perform so well, but at the same time, it was a reward for all of his hard work with co-driver Danny Oliveiras. He pointed out that it's not easy mastering every kind of terrain in this sport, but he definitely wants to target more podiums and stage victories in the future. Here's a man who knows a thing or two about podiums and stage victories, Nasser Alatia. It has been another masterclass from the Qatari maestro and his French co-driver Mathieu Baumel, who dealt with whatever Ruta Quarenta could throw at them. They also led from wire to wire. Baumel is already the world champion for co-drivers, while Alatia will no doubt secure the driver's title in Morocco in October. Yeah! It's uh, really nice to come here, you know, in Argentina, Ruta Quarenta. It's very time for us to do this rally, but we have a lot of experience of Dakar. Uh, yeah, I am really quite happy, you know, to win this race, uh, the first edition in world champion. Yes, and uh, I would like to congratulate for Mathieu because he's already world champion. And I don't know, me, maybe yes, maybe no, but OK. Uh, it was a good uh, race for us and uh, we are quite happy. Alatia's final margin of victory was 22 minutes with all five Toyotas in the top five. Eugenio Amos finished within an hour in just his second rally in the T1s. Alatia's lead isn't quite unassailable in the W2RC, but it would take something remarkable to deny him the title. Loeb has slipped down to fourth behind Al Raji and Jacopini. It's been a bit of a roller coaster ride in the T3s this week, especially for Austin Jones. The American was leading the W2RC when he arrived in Argentina, then he lost quite a bit of time due to electrical issues, and then he finally managed to recover and finish third overall. That is no doubt better than he was expecting, and it keeps him in the fight for the title. Cristina Gutierrez has been flying under the radar at this rally. She didn't post a single top three finish, yet her consistency earned her an impressive second place overall. The Spaniard is a little way down in the W2RC after failing to score points in Abu Dhabi, but she and her co-driver Pablo Moreno are dovetailing very nicely together in that Red Bull Can-Am. But for the second round in a row, the overall victory went to Mitch Guthrie, even if the American had a bit of a scare in this final stage. He lost around 10 minutes due to a technical issue, but luckily he and Kellen Waltz were able to fix it and they had enough of a cushion to come home in P1. Guthrie going back to back after Mexico and storming his way to the top of the W2RC standings. Just consistency for sure is the key. Um, every day we stayed uh, smooth, never really got out of the car, had flat tires or anything like that and just kind of kept the car moving and kept a great pace for sure. So overall, um, just keeping the car moving all day long and staying a uh, fast pace, of course. Guthrie leading in the Red Bull Can-Ams of Gutierrez Jones and Chaleco Lopez, with Hernan Garces taking fifth after Joao Ferreira retired again today. It's still mighty close in the championship. Guthrie leads by three points from Jones, with Quintero only nine points off the pace.
Gustavo Gallego rounded out his very first rally in a car with victory in the T4s. The former quad rider, who came as high as third at Dakar 2019, went into this final stage with a lead of over three hours, so he could afford to adopt what he termed a less is more strategy. Another win for Argentina and what's been a great rally for the host country. Diego taking the final stage to claim a comfortable win ahead of Enrico Gaspari and Eduard Ponce. Shinsuke Yamada finished almost a day behind, but he got what he came for, a maximum horn in the W2RC. He's up to second behind the runaway leader Rokas Pachuska, who leads by 55 points, with 55 points exactly up for grabs in Morocco. And so we come to the end of what's been a spectacular edition of Desafia Ruta 40 and a very successful comeback on the W2RC calendar. Time for the winners to celebrate a job well done. The good news is that we'll be back in 2024, so join us then, and thanks for watching.